Hello and welcome to the homework video for fifth grade for Friday, April the 31st. This is going to cover our lesson working with polygons and classifying them based on whether or not they have um, equal sides and equal angles to be a regular polygon or uh, if they are different and not considered a regular polygon as well as the names. So for number two, we have a four-sided shape. It has all four sides of the same length and all four angles are the same length. So we have a quadrilateral. I'm just going to abbreviate that as Q. More specifically, it's also a square, um, but we're just gonna use the term quadrilateral for this. Um, and it is going to be a regular polygon. So I'm gonna put regular for that. Uh, actually, I'll put RP for that. Uh, number four, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So I have a hexagon and I have all the sides the same length. I have all of the angles same length. So that is going to be a regular polygon. For number six, I have one, two, three, four, five sides. So I have a pentagon. And I do not have a regular. So not a regular polygon. Number eight, if I drew seven points and connected the dots to make a closed plane figure, I would have a heptagon. Number one, on the back I have a pentagon and I have all of the sides the same length and I have all of the angles the same length um, so that one would be a regular polygon. Uh, for number two, I can already tell you by looking at it that we have uh, probably have all of the angles the same measurement, but we have different side lengths. So we do not meet one of the two um, requirements to have a regular polygon. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So we have an octagon. And we have not a regular polygon. So hopefully that helps answer all the questions. And I didn't mean to pull that part up. <laughs> so it's been a long day. I'm doing a bunch of batch recording again because of appointments and other things I have to do. So um, I've got a few more to do. Uh, today to make sure that all of those are ready to go out on Thursday and Friday. So um, you guys will have a new packet coming out on Monday um, that will cover the last uh, 10 lessons, I believe, or possibly nine lessons. Um, I'll have to go back and check. I originally planned for 10, but I might drop one out by the time uh, the packets go home. So um, if we do uh, 10 lessons, we'll probably do four lessons the first week and then three on the second week. And then the final week of school will probably do three, but what I may choose to do is do them on like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday um, can be kind of um, different things um, besides homework. And we can just celebrate and um, enjoy the fact that we finished the school year together. So um, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Otherwise, hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.